see or seem is but a dream within a dream. Too sick to travel. Where is she? Where is the general's daughter? She couldn't come, sir. Send him on his way. Ed Worms? Yes, sir. What's in the south? I'll keep you safe. Come so much. Oh, but sweetheart, she was too sick. There's always a reason. If you cannot improve your disposition, Marie, why I'd prefer you return to the house. I'm sorry. When the general informs me his daughter is well, another visit can be arranged. Until then. I'm fine. I don't want to upset you. Don't be angry, please. You'll find a friend for me? Well, do what I can. Now, why don't we just enjoy this beautiful evening together?
examine the bodies and thinks one of them may have been her mother. But the driver and the woman thrown into the woods, he couldn't tell. I hope we find her relatives. That's terrible she's all alone now. Oh, but no one knows of the contact. And the bodies have to be buried, or they'll rot in this heat. Your father has arranged for them to be buried in the crypt. Now keep her in bed. She shouldn't be moved yet. Have your servant girl look in on her every two hours. Well, she may have no appetite for several days, but that is to be expected. A severe blow to the head can result in unpredictable symptoms. Bring her warm tea before she sleeps tonight. Oh, I'll take it up to her. There are stories of sickness in the South. Hmm. What do you hear? Well, I'll know more when I get back tonight. Of course, the wives say it's plague and spreading, but who knows with their tales. See if there's anything I can do for you, and now you're taking care of me. That's not supposed to happen. Oh, here, put this on. We don't even know each other's names. I'm Carmilla. And my name is Marie. I know. I heard the doctor asking your father about you. He did? Why? I didn't listen. I don't like doctors. They think they know everything. That's what Miss Hodgett says, too. And they have such cold hands. Drink the tea. Do you like dolls? I can show you my dolls if you like. And they have different houses, too. I don't think they should always have to stay in the same one, do you? No. Do you like to go places? Yes. So do I. There's special places here. I'll take you when you're better. Drink your tea. Later. I promise. in here. How is my mother? I thought they told you.
What are you going to do now? Where are you going to go? Some relatives will take me in, I'm sure. Mother and I traveled everywhere after father died. Do you go places with your father? He says everything I need is in the house. It isn't. That's so old-fashioned. When's the last time you spoke to anyone outside of the house? I used to talk to Mother all the time. But she's been gone a long time, hasn't she? I'm here now. You can talk to me. Isn't that what a friend does? Let me see. She's very beautiful. I know. Where did she go? Father thinks she ran off with the Yankee after the war. She always wanted to go places, and he said no. We would come here, and she'd write letters to her friends and ask them to describe where they lived and what they saw. And she'd read them to me. She said if she ever went away, she'd take me. And she just left. Is that why your father doesn't let anyone near you? He's afraid you'll leave him. I'm not going to leave him. Unless the right person asks you. I don't come to me. There's no secret to that. I'll show you. You can get anyone you want to come to you. How? You look beautiful in my mother's dress. It's very kind of you to let me wear it, Marie. I travel with so few things. Ah, there we are, children. Father, you greased your hair. Well, I think one should try to look one's best when one is having uh, company. Dinner is ready whenever you are, sir. I believe we are almost ready. Very good, sir. Marie and I had the nicest talk. Must have been so difficult for you, raising your daughter without your wife. Well, yes, of course, but uh, it brought... Marie and I so much. Classa. Shall we eat now? Uh, who was there? Uh, we found him begging, sir. The last two nights I've let him sleep out back. There is no telling what diseases he has. Keep that boy out of the house. You won't catch him inside again, I promise. I'm not feeling very well. Perhaps if I lie down for a while. Oh, yes, yes, of course. I'll get Miss Hodgett to bring something up for you. You look very handsome tonight, Leo. I'll take Miss Camilla up some soup.
Lucas. The boy was a beggar, yes? Yes. There's all the signs of the sickness from the south. He must have come from there. You think Blake? I don't know yet. And until I do, not a word of this death is to leave the house. Is that clear? The doctor said to pack plenty for the picnic. We can eat as much as we want, and I want Carmilla to taste the sweets I like. Well, I don't think that she will, but I'll do as you wish. You don't like her, do you? I want to make sure nothing happens to you. Oh, please don't spoil it for me. You always said I should have a friend, and now that I have one, you want to ruin it all for me. That's not true. It's just that some friends are good for you and some are not. Don't you understand? Oh, you sound just like father. Oui. And I hate that. So maybe you stay with us. I can't. Why? No one ever stays. Why? You really don't know about Miss Hodgett? She's watching us all the time with those eyes. You don't think she's a witch? And those things she wears around her neck? She scares me. How did you see those? She doesn't show those to anyone. Father tells her not to bring them into the house. He says they do nothing but draw bad spirits. At least he likes you. Shall I tell you why he likes me? He's worse than the doctor. That's the only reason he lets me stay. No, you're mistaken. He only wants what's best for me, and he knows how happy I am you're here. But he won't let us be friends. He wants to keep you like... Like one of his paintings. What are you doing? Now your turn. Cut a lock from wherever you want. Go ahead, I won't bite. We'll swear to be friends forever. your hands now, that's part of it. Be hungry, you didn't touch our picnic lunch. Well, you're in for a real treat tonight. This is Miss Hudgett's best meal. Mmm, it's really nice. Good. Thank you, Hudgett. Do you know what I thought we might do? I thought tomorrow we all ought to go on an outing. Yes, we'll all go.
the matter? Are you all right? I think so. I brought this back to you. from the south is here. The inspector thinks she was murdered. May I join you? At last. Uh, with your permission, I'd like to examine the body. If you've just eaten, I would suggest that you wait. Sound advice. For one not accustomed to dealing with the plague. With what? Plague. <laughs> it is not the plague. <sighs> Thank you. I'll be the judge of that. Well, plague does not bite. And court officials do not conduct medical autopsies. No. <coughs> what do you say to that? Bites all over her body. Yeah, but they did not touch her face. Yet not one scratch. Except. Now, the, the strain of plague that attacks in that manner is called what again? <clears throat> this does not appear to be plague. Well, no, it doesn't. Ooh. For Marie? Yes, and her guest. Big pardon, you say a guest? Inspector, if you don't mind learning something, come here, look at this. Yeah, they are similar. Oh, but 16 deaths in the past month. And all of them from bites exactly like this. And until now, all of them confined to the southern parish. I, I mean, this is the first attack here. Are you suggesting that the bats are on some kind of rampage? <laughs> they have been known to travel in packs, and this death appears to prove that point. Excuse me, sir. Miss Marie doesn't seem to be feeling well. This is definitely not one of your bad attacks, Doctor. When a bat attacks, the victim panics. The bite marks are jagged. Now, can anyone explain to me why the bite mark on Marie is so clean, so precise? In the garden yesterday, the food must have drawn spiders. You see, we both were bitten. You're looking much better. Thank you. It's remarkable how quickly you've recovered. She's in no danger, Leo. If, as you say, she's in no danger, then what happened? If you're asking me to jump to conclusions, like this inspector... Do you know or not? There is a medical explanation. Then find it. What do you know about him? He investigates special situations for the court. By the by, 
Did you notice uh, anyone unusual around the house before the housekeeper's death? Oh, no, the master doesn't let anyone inside. He yelled at Miss Hodge just for letting that boy sleep on the back porch. What boy? The poor little orphan that was here. He died. And where is that body now? The undertaker took him. Thank you. This is a sketch of the bite mark that killed the boy. Now, is it, or is it not, identical to the marks that we found on Hodgett and on Marie? Marks that began appearing in this area the day after your guest arrived. This sounds like a witch hunt. <laughs> it's no witch hunt. They're not witches. Then what is it, Inspector? Please, tell us. Well, I think it's a vampire. The man is living in the dark ages. And the doctor here, he's still laboring under the delusion that it is a plague. Yes, yes, all right, gentlemen. Now, according to this book, the average meal for a vampire bat consists of two ounces of blood. Now, in order to account for the blood loss sustained by Miss Hudgett when she was killed, there would need to have been at least 80 vampire bats in this house. Yet no one heard a sound. Is that possible? I think not. So until we have some answers, I want the inspector to remain here and continue with his job. With our full cooperation. I have no time for this, Leo. I have patients in this parish who are dying. A perfect cover for her killings. With so many deaths, she knows that each body cannot be examined. There is a plague here. And I plan to visit each patient. Now, if you will excuse me, I want to see Marie. Well, now, until I know more, can we keep the girls separated? Marie will do as I say. But, Inspector, I really can't believe that Miss Camilla is a vampire. Vampire, sir. Come in all guises. Man, woman, child, fat, thin. Or, uh, very beautiful. Oh, they offer to show you the world for a very high price. If your daughter really has been bitten, I'm not sure we can get her back. What we're doing, aren't you? What's happening between us? Oh, you're so young, Marie. Each day your sun rises and sets, and yet you never do anything. You never go anywhere. I may never see the sunrise, but I can take you to worlds beyond your dreams. I can teach you about the stars. Will dance in their light for eternity. I want to see the world, but I'm afraid. Do you ever miss home? Home? That was another lifetime. I'm much happier now. Oh, catch me if you can.
got you. Try and get away from me. I've never seen anything like this. There's more. Hide and seek. Find me. I must find Marie. We would have no chance against Carmilla at night. Thank Won't you. she suspect the dog roses? Oh, when I, if she asks you, we just say that uh, they were Hodgett's favorites, and we are doing this in memory of her. Now, I'll lay those on the steps, and I see how she reacts when she tries to go up the stairs. Uh, now, dog roses and charms is all very well, gentlemen, but there is only one sure way to kill a vampire, and that is to plunge a stake to her inhuman heart. No pity for her, sir. Carmilla is a beast with an insatiable thirst for blood. Dinner's still warm. We start to worry about you. Why? No one knows the woods better than I do. It's late. What have you been doing? I was just showing Carmilla some of my places. We're going upstairs now. I'm not hungry. Yeah, let them go. Let you go up there with my daughter. What? Stay out of this. No, I won't. I don't know that I believe what he says you are, but I do know something is wrong, and I'm not going to let you near my daughter. How can you insult the only friend I've ever had? You say you'll arrange for guests to visit, but no one ever comes. Let me have a friend. That's all I'm asking. Why do you talk like she's some kind of monster? And don't tell me you're listening to him. Because if you are, I don't know you anymore. You don't have any friends. That's your choice. But that's not the way Mother raised me. She was the best friend I ever had. Until I met Carmilla. Carmilla has shown me how wonderful it can be to share something with another person. It's part of being alive. And you never showed me that. She did. So don't take away the only joy I have in my life. This? Miss Hodgett's necklace? You raised the roof when she wore these. Give it to me. Now will you believe me? I'd believe Marie when she told me how unhappy she was and needed a friend. They both need a friend. Look what this is doing to Marie. Now, I am telling you, Inspector, with or without your permission, Camilla leaves this house tonight. Well then, sir, you most certainly risk losing your daughter forever. 
or she will most certainly leave with Carmilla. Marie has made the vampire hesitate. Now that is going to buy us the time that we no, need. No, no, no. Leo is right. We must separate them tonight. Trust me. We must wait until daybreak. Carmilla will not harm Marie till then. Oh, didn't you see her on the staircase? There were tears in her eyes. She was remembering what it was like to be human, to be loved. It is that memory that is going to buy us the time we need to kill Carmilla and to rescue your daughter. Just how do you propose to do that? When the sun rises, Camilla will have to go to sleep. That is when we will strike. Now, Carmilla and Marie have to be kept apart at all costs until then. Now, we will take separate watches until daybreak. I'll take the first watch. I'll go to my room. I can hear anything in the hall from there. Where should I be? You will leave Leo. Now, be careful. If the vampire suspects us, she will run immediately. Inspector. Are you spending the night? Yes. Will you be here in the morning? Oh, yes. Gone to the graveyard. Let's get help. Hurry, the sun's rising. Go! Oh. 
been any good to anyone. All he wants is to stop us. You have to trust me. Nothing in the world will make me stay with him. Just let me say goodbye. Go back, Marie. It's the only way. No, it's not. I want you to understand why I'm going away. Damn it, Marie! This woman, don't you know? Look you what you're doing to me. I'm your father, don't you realize that? And no, you're not yourself. The inspector knew that too. That's why Camilla killed him. And Hodgett, and the little boy, and God knows who else. There's no sign of Carmilla. She knows she's not welcome here. Let's go home. She always knew so much about Mother. Now I know why. She kept her all this time, but she wouldn't let her come back to me. Or to me. Marie, if there is a way to forgive me, Will you try? It's over. I just want to go home with you.
Is there anything you need? Just some tea, that's all. I'll go make you some. Could you close the curtains? Another lifetime. I'm much happier now. <laughs> 